Iron Age, Pulp Rev, Comic Skate, Superversive, and all based indies everywhere. We've got thousands of creators and millions of aspirants out there hammering away at the next wave of independent media. It's my job to round it all up for you week by week. Keep up with your favorites and find something new. Smite that subscribe button and leave a like to light the beacon for the next weary traveler. So what's going on? Let's embark on this weekly quest and find out. Paladin Dragoon tells us soon. And our LaPointe continues the rapid release strategy with Death Planet 2 Metal Saurus. I mean, who on earth can resist this? Don't deny yourself, friend. J.D. Cohen also follows his book 2 quickly with the third release in the Gemini Man series, completing the trilogy. Cohen had promised to finish what was started with Silver Empire Books and the Heroes Unleashed universe, and he's done it. And the Big Based book sale is on! You can get several of my books there for 99 cents. There's no better way to grab a ton of killer books at once and support indie authors. Other books. From author L. Jaji Lamplighter, the latest in her Magical School series, An Old Enemy Returns, with the, spoiler redacted, dead, Rachel Griffin is determined to save her beloved Roanoke Academy before time runs out. But to do this, a new covenant must be forged with the island's fairies. On top of this, an old enemy has escaped and might reappear at any moment. Rachel has learned not to wish on stars, but what should she do when she yearns for help? She's troubled by other questions too. Where did the dead go? What became of her beloved late grandfather? Most annoying of all, with such a wonderful boyfriend, how can she be in love with two boys? As her 14th birthday approaches, the answer to these questions awaits her, along with wonders such as she has never seen. But there are terrible things ahead. To. These might look YA in the vein of the Harry Potter, but as an enlightened reader, I can tell you Lamplighter's skills are top-notch, making these a great read for anyone of any age. Pulp Rev stalwart Fiona Wolf continues to update her web novel, Uplift Protocol. She's 11 books in after about three years. Uplift Protocol is a superhero science fantasy adventure with full focus on an expansive world and strong, noble characters. She lists her favorite tropes for your convenience. Closed-loop time travel, Multiverses, so mirror alts can interact with the main cast. Space doggos, earth doggos. Bacon, superheroes who like being heroic. Memory shrouds. Cosmic mysteries, cosmic horror. Ducks and ship AI that know more than they let on. Right into the sunset endings, good prevails, evil eats itself, men and women as a team. Many of the episodes are accompanied by the texture-heavy, almost impressionistic illustrations of artist Old Can. Check it out. All right, this one might be a month late, but it's still valid, dang it. The Quaff's Shotgun Samurai Legends remains in demand on Indiegogo. With the follow-up to the hit manga Shotgun Samurai comes three new stories from the characters you've grown to love. The Samurai himself in Dragon Warrior, George in Tales from the Ramen Shop, and Tofu in Tofu the Ninja. Where it has begun to spread about the mysterious man with the dragon sword and has piqued the interest of power Powerful people. Find out how the shotgun samurai came to work for the infamous Shogun, thus leading him down a dark path. This looks super cool, and just check out that roster of artists. From Velvet Comics, Melvin is a mercenary who must traverse dangerous terrain and fight even more dangerous tyrants on an alien world in the hopes of rescuing a princess from a murderous cult. In issue 3, will Melvin and Alice manage to reach the safety of the hidden city of Trigg? Or will they fall into the hands of two relentless bounty hunters? Melvin is faced with a tough choice, whether to pursue wealth or to embrace his destiny as a hero. Meanwhile, Alice must face the consequences of her own choices as she embarks on a journey to fight for what she believes in. The book is written in the same spirit as action-packed sci-fi and fantasy flicks of the 80s and honors those types of stories as it's the main inspiration. Buzz around, this looks good, so let's dive in. Christian animation studio Brainy Pixel develops martial arts series described as TMNT meets Kung Fu Panda. Episode 1 is funded, and they are currently campaigning for Episode 2. Righteous Warriors is a high-octane 2D animated show targeted at youngsters to combat the outright lies of the world and instill biblical values through creative storytelling and world-class imagery. It promises to display the rock-solid traits of good character through the exciting lens of martial arts training techniques, characters, and lessons. There's nothing like it out there. Blessed is a person who endures temptation. I'll definitely be watching this one closely for more updates. Thanks for tuning in to IndieScan. This is just a taste of what's going on in the scene this week. You can support the Weekly Roundup by subscribing here and buying my books. Till next time, my friends. Good journey.